for you. And that is, I know you're lame in both your feet, but you don't have to worry about anything because I'm going to restore all unto you your inheritance from the house of Saul, your grandfather. And I think I need to share notice on you that no matter we may have our lame feet, but God is getting ready to restore what the devil took from you. He is getting ready to restore all that you deserve. He returned unto the house of Saul for everything to Mephibosheth. And the Lord is getting ready to restore unto you. He was getting ready to restore anything that was taken from you. So then Mephibosheth said, who am I that I would deserve these things? He said, now and David said, I got something a little bit better. And now only am I going to restore your father's stuff. But I want you to dwell right here or in the palace and eat at my table. And I want you to stay here or as you are or one of my sons. And I think I need to share notice on you this morning that God will not only restore what you have lost, but he has that much more for you. He wants you to come and eat at his table. And I think I need to share notice with you today that Adam, when he bit all the fruit that he had crippled all of mankind with sin, sin. God had another plan in place that he had restored all of mankind through the death of his son and the resurrection of his son. And I think I need to share notice with him that is there anybody here who now are sitting at the king's table? They're sitting at the king's table. That he's getting ready to restore. Yes. Yes, sir. He's getting ready to restore everything that was taken from you that you had the right to. You see, what the rule was that if the king and all his sons were killed, then the inheritance would go to the daughters. But since Saul didn't have any daughters and the Philistines, the enemy, did not know about Mephibosheth and David didn't know about Mephibosheth, the, the, the inheritance had went, uh, went back and ultimately that David had possession. And through that possession, and, and let me rephrase that, uh, uh, David was married to one of Saul's daughters. Let me rephrase that. He was married to one of Saul's daughters, so he was in possession of all of Saul's uh, inheritance, all of Meph Mephibosheth's inheritance. But David uh, inquired about uh, the, uh, if there was anybody of the house of Saul, and he restored, he gave by right he gave those things back to uh, Mephibosheth, a man who was lame in both his feet, but he did not know how rich he was until the king gave him notice. And I think that it is safe to say that uh, a lot of us don't know how blessed we are because we are ignoring the summons of the king. Because the king is calling you. The king is calling you. 
And through that, and through the summons of the king, so you might have to leave your, your loaded bar, whatever your loaded bar is, and, and come to Jerusalem, whatever that Jerusalem is. Because wherever Jerusalem is, that, that was the headquarters, worship headquarters for the Jews. So, in essence, in essence, that you might have to leave your loader bar to go to Jerusalem where Jesus is. Yes, yes. So, uh, and, and while I'm talking, I'm going to extend in the uh, invitation. I'm going to extend the invitation that you come by uh, Kennedy for baptism, which means it be your first time that you have uh, allowed Jesus to come into your life and you want to accept him into your life. And then, if you already know the Lord, but you need a church home, you'd like Ring of Faith Ministry to be your church home, this will be your time. So, and, and through that, so, so Mephibosheth was blessed because of the king. And, and through all of that, through all of that, I, I believe the Lord is saying to us today that no matter how messed up your life is, he's still going to bless you. Amen. And, and the, the, uh, the, Philip, the Philippines or the enemy of our lives may have, may have taken some stuff from us, but the king is getting ready to restore, not only restore what you have lost, but he could also add more to it. He could add more to it. All that you lost and then some. And then some. But we're going, we're going to extend the, uh, the invitation. So Mephibosheth not only uh, got what the Philippines or what was taken from him that he really didn't know he had. Really didn't know he had. But that was restored. And a lot of us, you really don't know what you have. Especially when it comes uh, uh, to the Lord, and, and and I don't know how you feel about it, but I'm I'm glad that that uh, not only am I uh, a son of the King, but uh, I've been of the priestly and kingship, and and through that kingship, we have an, an inheritance, but it's only but because through the blood of Jesus. And Mephibosheth, as we learned, Mephibosheth, he was not perfect. He, he, his feet was all twisted up. But he made it to the king. Amen. And you can come with your old twisted up life. Our twisted up life. And you know, and you know, and you know, and we just need to come to Jesus just as we are. We don't have to come uh, with all these five, six syllable words that some people does, you know, uh, Figure they had to come up with these dressed up prayers. We all you have to do is just tell God, if you're not feeling good, God, I'm just not feeling good. You know, and to uh, uh, come to the Lord just as you are. You have to leave your loader bar. You have to leave your loader bar and come to Jerusalem. And we see there that there are none. Uh, we gonna ask everybody to stand. We gonna ask everyone to stand. Let's remember our Bible study. Let's remember uh, to call in and spread the word of uh, our Bible study on Wednesday. Uh, our Facebook page as well as our YouTube page. Uh, uh, be prayerful for those uh, as we try to reach others uh, through modern uh, technology. And, um, and to call in for, the, for your Bible study so you could be eating dinner while you have Bible study. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. And you know, I was telling one friend, one friend about it uh, the uh, calling Bible study and he went all the way south and uh, he was like yeah, yeah yeah, and uh, you can have your Bible study and, and you can be doing whatever it is you're going to want to do amen, whatever that's supposed to matter amen but uh, and I thought it would be really conveniently 
uh, especially during the winter months. Amen. Uh, you don't have to get out in the snow and ice. So let's bow our heads. Lord, we thank you, praise you, magnify you. Thank you to God for looking beyond uh, the Mephibosheth dispositions in our lives. That when you look upon us, that you see Jesus. And thank you, God, that you are about to restore everything that was rightfully ours from the beginning. And Lord God, and we just thank you for these who came and to join us on this day. We bless you and we praise you and we magnify you. And all the people said, Amen. Amen. Everybody take somebody by the hand. And repeat after me. So then faith, so then faith comes, by hearing, comes by hearing. And hearing by, and hearing by the, word of God. the word of God. Amen. Amen.